everyone, welcome back to my classroom. My name is Mam Zia. I'll be your science teacher for today. I will share everything with you about the atoms, so get ready and let's jump into the video. Atom is the basic unit of matter. So, whatever tiny living or non-living things that you can see, find, or think are also composed of atoms because they are the building blocks for everything, including ourselves. I have here an example of or illustration of atom. So the lines here represents the orbits where you can find the electrons. And the dense center of the atom is called nucleus. So this nucleus is composed of neutron or the neutral charge and the protons or the positive charge. And remember class, no two elements have the same number of protons. Revolving around the nucleus like the planets in the sun is called the electrons or the negative charge particle of the atom. So electrons and protons are always attracted to each other and always equal in number. However, protons is always constant. So there are times na si electron ay nagigain or naglulubs. In the periodic table, scientists ascertain a number in each element based on its protons and atomic mass. So, paano po yun makikita? So, I have here an example of helium. So, the number under the symbol is called atomic number. So, this atomic number represent or also equal to the number of protons. So, kapag tinanong kayo, kung ano yung number of protons ng specific element, ang isasagot ninyo ay yung atomic number because they are the same. The number above the symbol is called mass number or atomic mass. This number represents the weight of an element. If you are asked what is the mass number of an element, you just need to combine the number of neutrons and the number of protons. So, kung gusto nyo namang mahanap yung number of neutrons, ipagmaminus nyo lang si mass number and si atomic number or si protons. Since you are now familiar with the subatomic particles which are electrons, the negative charge, protons, the positive charge, and the neutrons which is the neutral charge, we will now talk about ions and then isotopes. Don't worry. Because they are still atoms. Nagkaroon lang ng changes. It's either sa electrons or sa neutron. Sa ion, it is formed by the loss or gain of electrons by an atom. So, it contains an unequal number of electrons and protons. Di ba nga, earlier I told you na dapat sa electron ay always equal to protons. However, since constant si protons, ang possible lang na mawala or madagdagan ay si electrons. And when it happens, nagkakaroon po ng charge yung mismong atom. Kapag may charge na siya, ang tawag na po doon ay ions. And there are two types of ions. We have first the cation. So, in cations, whenever an atom loses an electron, it becomes positively charged. So, kapag nabawasan po ang ng electron si atom or si element, nagiging positive po ang charge niya. So, it is called cations. Next type is the anions. So, whenever the atom gains electrons or kapag nadadagdagan po siya ng electrons, nagiging negative yung charge niya. When it happens, it is called an ions. Next, we have the isotopes. So, isotopes are atoms of same element that has same number of protons and different number of neutrons. Usually kasi, si protons and si neutrons, eh, same number din. Pero may mga time or may mga element na iba yung number of neutron nila. And those elements are examples of isotopes. Eh, mga paano po namin yun? Madi-distinguish, paano po namin yung makocompute, paano po namin yung malalaman. I will show you an example. Sabay-sabay nating sagutan so you can analyze and understand what is an ion and what is an isotope. So we have an example of isotope here. We have the element sodium. 
and we need to find the mass number, the number of protons, the number of electrons, the number of neutrons, charge, and the ion. So for the mass number, you can just look it on your periodic table or if you have a given, so just compute it as the sum of protons and neutrons. And if you want to find the atomic number or the number of protons, just look at it on the periodic table. Because protons and atomic number are just the same. So for the number of neutrons, you need to subtract protons from the mass number. And then for the number of electrons, you need to subtract number of protons and charge. So sampo natin makikita yon. So for the mass number, pwede po natin tignan siya sa periodic table dito or sa mismong isotope kung present siya. Okay, since present naman siya dito and sa periodic table, hindi na natin kailangan gamitin yung formula. So we have the mass number 23. So for the number of protons, so paano natin siya mahanap? Kailangan nating tignan ang atomic number, so which is 11. For the number of electrons, kailangan po nating mahanap using the given of protons and charge. So, meron na tayong protons which is 11, pero wala tayong charge. So, saan po natin makikuha or makikita si charge? So, balik po tayo dito sa ating element. So, may kita ninyo, meron siyang dito positive icon. So, meaning, this atom has positive charge. So, wala na ka namang nakikita ang ibang number na katabi ang positive icon. So, automatically, that is positive 1. So, 11 na protons minus positive 1 na charge, the answer will be 10 electrons. So, paano naman natin kukunin na yun ang neutrons? So, sa neutrons, we need to minus the protons and the mass number. So, in this case, we already have mass number and proton so 23 minus 11 we have 12 so since ang ating isotope or element is positive charge so ano po magiging type of ion natin is it an ion or cation alright very good we have the cation because cation is the positively charged atom while an ion is a negatively charged ion. Next example, we have the cellarium. We have the mass number of 79 and we have the atomic number or the protons, proton number na 34 and we also have the negative 2 charge. Kita na yung sagot ha? So we have the 79 at dito natin yung kinuha. Then we have the 34 for the number of protons. Dito po natin yung kinuha. And then for the number of electrons, since given na po yung charge, so 34 minus negative 2, that will be 36. So for the newton, neutron rather, we have 79 minus 34, so we have 45 neutrons. So since our charge is negative, so our ion will be an ion or the negatively charged atom. Okay class, so that's all for today. So I hope you've learned and enjoyed our topic. Again, my name is Zia and Zia again or my next class. Bye!